In this video, we're going to learn how to use the three preset quick scan methods. First, start up, calibrate, and select the appropriate spectral libraries. Then select Scan by pressing the OK button. Select Quick Scan by pressing the OK button again. Then we're presented with the three preset quick scan methods. The first method is Thin or None. This method is used when scanning through thin plastic bags or scanning a material directly without any sort of container. The second method is Medium. This method is used when scanning through thin walled glass or plastic vials. The third method is Thick. We use this method when scanning through thick walled bottles and when using adapters such as the vial adapter and the small sample adapter. We'll demonstrate the first method by scanning the powder in a plastic bag. We folded the powder into one corner of the bag to make sure the laser is focused in the powder. With thin or none highlighted, we press OK to start the measurement. Hold the plastic bag against the probe tip. The progress bar indicates measuring when the laser can turn on, and when the laser is actually on, the red warning LED is lighted. While the progress bar is on, the instrument screen also shows us the libraries the analysis will include. When the progress bar indicates analyzing, ARCS is comparing the spectrum we've just acquired to the spectrum in the instrument libraries, and the laser will not come back on. When the analysis is complete, ARCS displays the result. Here you can see that we've identified caffeine. Caffeine is a common cutting agent in illicit narcotics. We'll demonstrate the second method by scanning the liquid in this vial, holding the vial against the probe tip instead of using the vial adapter. Select Medium from the Quick Scan menu by using the arrow keys to scroll to it. Hold the vial against the probe tip such that the laser will focus in the liquid of the vial. Start the scan by pressing the OK button. The progress bar indicates measuring when the laser can turn on, and when the laser is actually on, the red warning LED is lighted. As long as the progress bar indicates measuring, the laser can come back on. When the progress bar indicates analyzing, ARCS is comparing the spectrum we've just acquired to the spectra in the instrument libraries, and the laser will not come back on. When the analysis is complete, ARCS displays the result. Here you can see that we've identified methyl salicylate. We'll demonstrate the third method by scanning the liquid in this Erlenmeyer flask, which has a thicker wall than the previous vial. Select Thick from the Quick Scan menu by using the arrow keys to scroll to it. Hold the flask against the probe tip such that the laser will focus in the liquid of the flask. Start the scan by pressing the OK button. The progress bar indicates measuring when the laser can turn on and when the laser is actually on the red warning LED is lighted. When the progress bar indicates analyzing, ARCS is comparing the spectrum we've just acquired to the spectra in the instrument libraries and the laser will not come back on. When the analysis is complete, ARCS displays the result. Here you can see that we've properly identified methanol. After every scan, it's always a good idea to have a look at the spectrum. When ARCS displays the analysis result, just scroll down to View Spectra and click OK. The spectrum just taken is presented along with the reference spectrum. Here the spectrum we've just taken is in red and the reference spectrum is in white. You can see that the baseline is flat and the peaks of the measured spectrum line up with the peaks in the reference spectrum. Wherever we are in the ARCS menu, we can press the Quick Scan button to take us back to the Quick Scan menu. Press it a second time to repeat the method previously used.